My name is Flor. Um, I was thinking of starting to write a diary, but I thought making a vlog would be so much more fun and maybe someone will enjoy it. In this vlog, I'm just going to be sharing cool parts of my day and I will share whatever I enjoyed or found interesting. Uh, some facts about myself are that I am 16 years old, Mexican, I love to draw and paint, I'm not good, but with practice I'm hopefully gonna get good eventually, I'm an introvert, I have a really small group of people I hang around, and I'm happier like that. I also really like to riff, I love using too many accessories with my outfits, I really like using skirts and dresses, that kind of clothes make me really happy. I'm also not good at makeup, but I enjoy doing it, so who cares if I look like a clown? I'll be a happy clown. So yeah, I'm just gonna share whatever I want to, whenever I feel like it, and hope that if anyone is watching, they will enjoy it. I just wanted to tell you all that I am planning on coming out to my friends today. I am bisexual and some of my friends are from the LGBTQ plus community and they already know it, but I'm gonna tell the rest of my friends and I don't know what is gonna be the reaction. I will be giving an update on how it goes. I hope very well though. Hi, so it is kinda late right now. My day was very busy, but um, my friends were positive about it. They say they love me regardless of anything, which is lovely, but um... Something left me very uneasy. So a friend of mine told her boyfriend that I'm bisexual without asking me. She apologized and told her boyfriend he can tell anyone, but I just didn't expect her to do that because I don't really know her boyfriend and he hangs out with everyone in school. I didn't like that, but everything else was great and I'm happy I came out to them. It was pretty cool. Hey, today sadly I realized my worries came true. Many people I don't hang around with started talking about how they hate LGBTQ plus people in front of me and at first I totally thought this was like a huge coincidence to ease my mind but it clearly wasn't a coincidence. They ask for my opinion about gay people when they don't ever talk to me and I just say I didn't mind them. They were using a ton of homophobic slurs whenever talking about that which made it clear for me and at the end of the day a girl I don't even know asked me if I'm gay but using slurs. I was going to say no for my own safety and cause it's none of her business, right? But my friend just went ahead and said, yes yeah, she is, which is not her place to tell them that, right? Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it felt intrusive and this was the friend that told her boyfriend she doesn't really know how to be an ally, but maybe she will get better at it. I hope they ignore it though. They have their fun, now just give it a rest. My school takes such pride in how there is a community of acceptance, so I would hope so, but everyone was just talking about things that don't concern them. Oh, I almost forgot! I can't really buy a buy flag because I would have to come out to my parents before doing that and they're not very open-minded, which scares me so much. So I got this multicolored kite. I always buy rainbow stuff as a replacement for a pride flag. I think it's super cute. I might just hang it on the ceiling. I'm not sure though. Today it's Saturday, so I thought that in a happier tone I would show some of my artworks. No judgment is allowed. They are perfect paintings, they are top quality. Museum worthy. <laughs> so, this is the first artwork I want to show. I make mostly abstract paintings, this one looks very violent, and it is. It basically represents how I felt when I was trying to figure out my sexual orientation. A combination of a lot of sadness and anger. It is one of my favorite paintings, cause abstract paintings just look good and Sorry for the weird cut right there, I was talking and I got a phone call so the audio stopped recording. This has been happening all day. Someone calls and then I'm just hanging up, but I blocked the number that was calling before cause it is very spooky, it could be a ghost trying to haunt me, but it was a new number right now so I guess the ghost is very excited to kill me, just trying to reach me from all of its numbers. <laughs> Moving on, I have this painting that it happened again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this time I answered for the sake of getting content and not leaving you guys wondering about it and when I answered, someone just started yelling at me about how gross I am. This ghost is a homophobe, which is not cool. I, I just hung up and blocked the number, but I took a screenshot so maybe I can figure out who it is and tell a teacher or something. I don't think I recognize the voice though, so it's probably not someone in my ear. Anyways, I'm not gonna show any other paintings today cause uh, now I'm a bit upset but maybe I'll do it another day. Hello, 
Well, um, I haven't blocked anything in a few days because I've been exhausted. Um, at this point, everyone in my school has heard about me being bisexual and a lot of people hate me. And it's draining a lot of energy for me to be trying to defend myself from the comments. I also try to ignore them, which is also tiring in a way. I told the counselor, but she basically said I shouldn't have announced it to the world and that homophobia is something I'm gonna face my whole life, so I should learn how to accept it. And oh my god, there are so many things wrong with that. I, I don't think I should accept it just because it happens a lot. But she says I'm just meant to ignore it, so... Guess I'm just gonna ignore everyone and pretend nothing happens. Which never solves anything, by the way. I'm just gonna pretend I'm not bothered at all, so everyone backs off. My friends defended me after one or two comments, but I seriously don't want any of them to start getting harassed, so I would rather if they pretend they don't hear it. People have been mean and terrible, and they just love to call me slurs, and I hate this. Hello, so a teacher told me yesterday that if I don't stop complaining about getting harassed, she's going to have to call my parents to inform them about the situation, but that would mean she has to tell them I'm bi, so I mentally prepared myself so I could be the one that tells them. I went outside and flew my pride kite for a while, and it was a stress relieving, and well, I came out to them, and the outcome was way better than I actually expected, since they didn't kick me out. They were upset. <laughs> I wish they weren't, but they were. My mom said it's just a face, which I thought was something that is only said on movies, but she was being serious. My dad said it was incredibly stupid for me to think that. We aren't very religious, so I'm glad they didn't bring those arguments about the Bible, because that would be absolute hypocrisy. I'm glad I told them. They weren't happy about it, but at least I don't have to entirely fake my sexuality in front of them. My mom said, Si eres bisexual, todavía te puedes casar con un hombre, ¿verdad? Which means, if you're bisexual, you can still marry a man, right? She was really happy about that part. <laughs> it upsets me, but uh, maybe they'll change with time. And at least I don't have the constant fear of them finding out anymore. I can't believe how hard it felt to tell them. It's a really scary feeling. It sometimes made me cry all night when I was younger, but I'm proud of myself. Hello. Um. Right now you might be looking at me and thinking, why does she look like that? And uh, it's an interesting story. Um, another day, another hate crime, right? I went out to eat with some of my friends, and when I was walking home, I stopped to record my outfit and my makeup for just a minute. And some people from my school started walking towards me, and then they yelled at me. And I was actually recording, but I don't want to play anything from the video because it's too upsetting for me. And, and they were saying slurs, which might make people uncomfortable. In the video, they basically say, uh, get out of here or we're gonna kick your ass. Well, in Spanish. And I was getting out of there and still they kicked my ass. They were laughing and yelling a bunch of things and there were some bystanders watching. My phone got out of it and broken, which is surprising and they should have destroyed it because I have video evidence now. I don't think anyone calls the cops. They left me like this and a random lady on the street helped me get up and stuff, which was super kind. Then it started raining and I didn't even have a coat, that's why my hair is wet. Because even the weather is homophobic. The worst thing is that I, I took my stupid kite out so my friends and I would fly it and they broke it. It's ruined now. I really hate myself because I thought everything would be alright. I can't even put into words how tired I feel from this and obviously my body's hurting a lot but my mind is in so much more pain. I'm not a bad person but so many people treat me as if I was horrible. I can't find any pride in who I am anymore. Everyone and their hate took that away from me so thanks for that. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I felt all the love towards my identity, leaving my soul and disappearing into thin air. Maybe people are right and I am gross, a sinner. This is such a hateful world to live in. I called my parents on my way home. <laughs> They're gonna arrive soon and they will take me to the doctor tomorrow. I think they underestimated how much it hurts, but I'll just wait until tomorrow.
No, uh, I had to take a while of doing my block because of everything I've been going through. My parents took me to the doctor that same day and I just got some medicine for the pain, nothing too serious. When I went back to school, for some strange reason I expected them to feel at least a little bit bad, you know? And I heard them laughing at me. A you, well, more like an asshole, Seth. That's what should happen to all of them, so... <laughs> Before that, I was thinking of letting it go because of the things my counselor had said, but then I thought about it and decided they don't get to do this to me and go without consequences. I showed the video of the people who bit me off to the principal and after fighting for it, they were expelled, which was so great, because there was no way I was gonna let them do that to me and just stay there, and I wasn't going to change schools just because some people don't like me. I realize they're too obsessed with me, it's like fan behavior. <laughs> I thought of going to the police for just one second, but then I remembered I hate the police, and here in Mexico they don't take the LGBTQ plus community seriously, so they wouldn't help me. Still, getting them expelled was very rewarding in a way, and a lot of people felt pity for me, so they're being nice, which is way better than they usually are, so it's great. I'm still terrified of going out by myself, and I probably need therapy now, but at least I don't have to deal with them anymore. A girl actually told me, I don't usually like gay people, but I like you because you're kind. You didn't deserve to get punched in the face. <laughs> and she bought me an ice cream. She made my day so much better, but my days have sucked lately, so anything slightly nice makes it great. By the way, a lot of people are actually questioning whether I'm bi because I enjoy dresses, skirts, and makeup, which... What the hell does that mean, you know? People can be so annoying. Oh, and I'm not talking to the friend that told her boyfriend anymore. I'll talk to her if she apologizes and learns to be better. Hello! I wanna start by saying that I am doing so much better and... Wow, this time I didn't get hate crime while trying to record my look. That was too soon. Um, so... It felt awful to have people being so against who I am, but at least I got some of them out of my school. I do understand there will be times where I can do anything about homophobia, but that's okay, because I don't care what they have to say about me. My father is starting to be more accepting. My mom seems to be stuck in the same mindset, but it's fine. Some people can't even tell their parents because of how unaccepting they are, but I know they will find their people eventually. Oh, and my parents bought me a mop, and you may hear this and say, why would we care about that? Oh well. Cause it's a gay mob. They said gay rights but clean the house. <laughs> I know it seems stupid to get so excited for a mob, but it's a tiny detail that shows they are open to grow and understand me. They don't want me to publicly display my pride or anything, but I'm good with a mob for now. Well, turns out there's a lot of LGBTQ plus people in my school, and we are supporting each other. That's important. We gotta be nice to each other since the homophobes will be trying to make us feel bad. And Look at my kind! I wasn't able to entirely fix it. You can clearly see that it was broken, but I did what I could and maybe with some more work on it I can fly it again. All I want to say is that I love girls in flowy skirts, boys in colored pants, and people with cool hats, and some people will think I'm awful because of it, but I don't care about what they have to say. It's my thing, not theirs, and if they don't like it, they should get over it. That's everything I wanted to say today. Tune in next week when I will be making cookies with three of my friends, but none of us have ever baked, and it will be a disaster.